outdoor free range pork, it wasn't something that I'd always cook with as a chef. We were always um, sort of looking at using the best butchers and then sort of getting them to choose for us. Um, and then when we opened the small hold in 2018, I've kind of the part of what we do here was about changing our mentality as chefs and really going that extra kind of step and finding out more about where our food comes from and what happens to the production or the, the growing of the food before it gets to our plate. What we're looking for on this is a real good eye of meat, a little bit of marbling through the fat as well. Uh, and then this big layer of back fat is just a sign of a really healthy pig, something that's been reared really well. And the flavor's amazing. We get a lot of comments and people sort of say, oh my God, I've never tried pork like that. So once we started on this journey of using outdoor reared meat, especially pork, um, we kind of never change now. It matters and I think, maybe it doesn't matter to everyone, but I think once you find out some of the other practices that are involved in farming, it does make you start questioning what you're eating and what you're consuming, especially for us, what we're working with, what we're gonna cook for our guests. Um, so yeah, people are becoming more concerned by it and I think that's great. So we're first generation farmers um, and we farm about 500 acres now across Kent. Every single pig is born outside on the farm and usually the Tamworths have around seven to nine piglets in a litter, so relatively small compared to a commercial breed which might have about 14, hence why they're probably rare. In the three years of having pigs, we've never used antibiotics once at all. They don't need it, and they live a healthy, active lifestyle. If you look at mum over there, she's, you know, she's rooting away, and these guys in here will follow exactly what she's doing. So these would have been weaned about two months ago, so these are about four months of age now. They'll then grow slowly right through to around 10, 11 months, which is double the life of a factory farmed pig. There's a real depth of flavour, fantastic texture, there's marbling through the meat, you know, there's a great fat content um, and it tastes sensational and that's purely because of the way these guys have been raised. You know, they're happy in here, they're playing in the ark as we speak. I couldn't think of a better way to produce pork. There's a massive, massive difference between our pigs or any free range pigs compared to pigs that are in factory farming conditions. There's a lack of light, there's a lack of fresh air. Everything you need to allow pigs to live happily and healthily is taken away in a factory farming situation. Pens are overcrowded, the stocking rates are so high, they're on concrete, they're so bored, they bite tails off. That doesn't happen here. Uh, all our pigs have curly tails, which means they're happy. So I'm just gonna finish with a touch of butter. Nap over the top. I'm gonna bring that pork out to rest just while I make a sauce. Go in with a cider. Okay, so cider's reduced, apples are just softening. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of double cream. And then we've got some of our own mustard that we made here using uh, green mustard leaf. Um, so we grow that in the farm, we blend it up. It's kind of got a little bit more of a, like a kind of wasabi kick. It's a really good sort of spicy accompaniment to go through this cream and apple sauce. What the pig consumes definitely makes a massive difference. And I think a mixed diet, quite varied diet. The fat is the flavor. It tastes amazing, the rare breeds. It just shows a real good, healthy pig. Just with a couple of our stewed apples and our cider, green mustard, and apple sauce. That's it.